Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me tell you about getting an external microphone for your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 600 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now most Macs come with a built-in mic. All the MacBooks do and the iMacs as well. Basically if it has a FaceTime camera in the front it's got to have a mic otherwise you wouldn't be able to do things like FaceTime using your Mac. And you can use these microphones for anything else. You can record voice memos, you can record podcasts, you can record videos. But it may not be the best idea to use this onboard mic. First they're very small little mics and they're pretty good quality considering that they're built in. But they're still going to pick up noise from your fans, from things moving around on your desk, from you touching the keys on your keyboard. If you want to up your quality game you might want to get an external mic. Now there are basically three different kinds of external mics I want to talk about. The first is to get an external USB microphone. This is what I'm using and this is what most people who would be recording podcasts or making videos would be using with their Mac. They range in price from $25 to $150. I use and love the AT2020 microphone. It's a little more on the expensive side and it's not very portable. You can find ones that are very lightweight and smaller and cost a lot less. Basically you're going to get what you pay for. The higher end the better quality it's going to be. Now these are USB microphones so they plug into the USB ports on your Mac. Most of these microphones have been around for a while so the cord you get with them plugs into the older style USB connectors. If you've got a new MacBook Pro then you have USB-C so you're going to want to get a new cable for a few bucks that will replace the existing cable or just a small adapter so you can plug it directly in to your MacBook. If you already have a hub and it's using older USB connections then you could just use that. You just plug this microphone into your Mac and then you can go into System Preferences and select it as your microphone input. A lot of recording apps like GarageBand or ScreenFlow or apps like Skype and Zoom and such they allow you to pick the input as well so you can switch from your regular microphone to this USB microphone. And remember when using a microphone the idea is to get as close as you can to your mouth so don't expect that getting one of these microphones will give you good audio if you place it all the way on the other side of your desk. Try to get it close to you. That's why you see like on radio you know the microphones are like really close to people's faces. But if you're doing video you probably also want to keep it just out of frame. Mine is right there where you can't see it but it's still relatively close to my mouth. Now another type of microphone is a traditional analog microphone. Those have little jacks at the end that are audio jacks like headphone jacks or sometimes they're the XLR type. They're circles with like three pins in them. These are analog microphones and to have them go into your Mac you need to convert them. So you can get a converter that converts analog to digital. These things are pretty cheap. They can be under $10. A decent one is probably going to be more like $20 or $30. And you can get some that are little mixing boards that allow multiple microphones to come in and you to mix them and change things about the audio quality before they go through USB and into your Mac. This would mostly be for musicians that already have lots of analog equipment or if you already have an analog microphone that you want to stick with you can get a converter like this. Otherwise if you're buying new equipment you want to go with just a USB mic that you could plug in. Simple plug and play and it works and it's digital all the way from the microphone into your app. A third option would be to get a headset. A USB headset would make the most sense. Headsets are great for a few reasons. First they keep the microphone right up against your mouth. Second they also include of course the earphones. So you can actually use them in different situations where a microphone and speakers won't work. For instance you could FaceTime, Zoom, or Skype with somebody even if there are other people around you because you're the only one that's going to hear them and you don't have to talk very loud for them to hear you. It also works well for lots of conference call type of situations where having speakers and a microphone they may create an echo. But using a headset your microphone is not picking up the audio from your headphones. That's just going into your ears. Plus when you're recording the microphone is always at the same spot away from your mouth. So if you're doing say a podcast and you have to move around the room or move your head around you're not changing your mouse location relative to the microphone which could make the volume of the sound go up and down throughout the recording. But the disadvantages of headset is they're always on screen if you're doing video and also they can be uncomfortable if you wear them for a long period of time. Now another option which is kind of a variation on that is to use either older iPhone earbuds which have the audio jack and you can plug them into the audio jack say on a MacBook. And they have special connectors at the end and the microphone on the cord will actually work as a microphone to use. And it kind of works like a headset. You can also do the same thing if you pair your AirPods with your Mac. 
Now the quality there is really going to be the same, maybe not even as good as the quality from the microphones on your Mac. But it does allow you to move around a little bit more. It can be more comfortable than a headset. And you can see sometimes the quality is just fine. Matter of fact a lot of television work is being done today while people are stuck at home using an iPhone and AirPods. And you get the same sound quality using your AirPods with your Mac. So there's a look at a bunch of different options if you're looking to get an external microphone for your Mac. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.